I'm always very surprised to find that when I meet people uh, on a plane or train or standing on a bus stop or in a lunch counter or just um, in some other uh, type of a situation where I meet someone in my home or I meet someone in their home or an office and another human being and we're talking about different things and some way I navigate myself to ask that person the question what do you think about life and the person says well, what do you what do you mean by that I said, life, well, what do you think about it? What do you think the meaning is? What do you think the purpose is? And you'll be surprised that uh, intellectual people, educated people, religious people, opinionated people, arrogant people. Every Muslim is a terrorist. I have everything in my power. Rich people. White people, black people, Americans, British, Australians, Spanish, Germans, French, heads of state, diplomats, athletes, celebrities, people whom you would think should have some kind of grip or have come to some kind of uh, determination about this very simple question. I asked them. But what do you think is the purpose of life? Hello, my name is Sophia. Welcome to my stylist photo shoot. There's a hesitation. The person is not forthright. And suddenly there's, there's a silence. There's a hesitation. The person is not forthright. And I always remind myself, and I always remind the person that this is not a religious question. It's not a philosophical question. It's not a dialectical question. It's not a tricky question. It's a very simple, straightforward question. And if you haven't answered it, if you haven't reconciled it within yourself, if your set of values you haven't reconciled that question for yourself to be able to answer it straightforward like you would if I asked you your name. Then there's a problem. And you need to think about that problem. You need to work it out. Because every human being needs to answer that question. At least for themselves. And they need to answer it objectively, not just subjectively, as it applies to me, my opinion. What do you think is the purpose of life for all human beings? Because when human beings start to think about that question, it's an all-inclusive question. And you can't just ask that question for yourself because there are others involved in life. And when you start to think about others, other places, other people, other situations, other ideas, when you start to think about the world as it is, not the world as you think it is, you start to change a little bit yourself. You start to move outside of yourself. You start to take in a whole lot of other considerations. And I always say to people, if you haven't thought about this, you need to go home, cut off the TV, turn off the music, and sit in your house or your room in silence for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes and think about what is the purpose of life? Because when you start thinking about that question, you take the first steps, just like a child takes their first steps in life. You start taking the first steps to balancing and reconciling probably the most important question for the human being. Now this is not a question that cannot be easily defined, it can be. If you turn to any one of the many dictionaries that would be available in an institution like this or a public library or available in your home or your office, the terminologies have been defined already. So it's not rocket scientists. It's not rocket science here. The word purpose 
generally means aim, objective, underlying reality, goal, determination, reason, and intent. Now that's very powerful. The word life. One of the most powerful words that explain life that's unfathomable. You can't even really, when you say the word, you can't even think of really what it means. Existence. Now how do we think about existence? Is it vertical? Is it horizontal? What's the depth to it? What's the diversity of it? How far is it? How many kinds of creatures does it involve? What kind of substances? Where? How? When? Who's behind it? How did it come about? Such a profound word, existence. The phenomena of the world the term of a human being's existence before what we call death. Death. A word that none of us like to say unless it applies to someone or something else. We can, we can manage to say someone has died. But we don't like to think even for a moment about someone saying that about us. Because that inevitable event, death, that is what you and I are on a downhill incline facing every single day. And babies die. Young people die, old people die, pretty women die, handsome men, rich people. Everyone faces death and will die. No matter what your philosophy is, what your preoccupation is, what your orientation is, who you think you are, where you think you're headed, what's your background, what's your family, what's your class, title, and structure, it doesn't matter. We're all headed towards death. And life is a gift that's been given to you and me. And we have to work out the variables between here and there. So when we speak about the purpose of life, for individuals, it's really a simple issue. But we need to take a look at it. Now for individuals and for governments, the purpose of life is a little bit different. It takes upon a different set of dynamics. And I want to discuss with you from a social political point of view, because my background is sociology. And so it means I study behavior. I study the behavior of governments, civilizations, societies. I study the behavior of individuals. That study of behavior helps me to understand when something is here and you study the evolution of it, where it has come from, you get an understanding of where it is headed. And you start to see things to be almost the same. And when we talk about life, the life of a person, whether their life expectancy or their life anticipation, their life involvement, for all human beings, it's basically the same. Now you might eat a little more fancy food. than somebody that's living in Rwanda. You may live in a little more fancy house than someone that's living in Somalia or Afghanistan. You may have a little bit more choice of clothing when you open up your closet than someone that might be living in the Amazon.
But when you're sick, sickness is the same. And your response to sickness is the same oh as those people that we just saw. You guys call first. And when you have trauma in your life, tragedy in your life, you respond to it the same as those people. As a matter of fact, when people have been undergoing trauma on a daily basis, they deal with it better than what you and I will deal with it when it comes to us. So for individuals and governments, the purpose of life have a different manifestation, but I want to show you sort of like the generics of how they both function. One, one of our philosophers, historians, that some of you may have heard his name, his name is Ibn Khaldun. He's called the father of history. He's the first one that interpreted history according to human behavior. He said that the cycle of life for individuals, the cycle of life for governments and civilizations are the same as the cycle of life for human beings. There's a gestation period, and then they're born. And after they're born, they begin to recognize, walk, speak. They start to adopt and, 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 and realize their own personality. We're talking about individuals, we're talking about governments, societies. There's a stage of immaturity, and then there's a stage of adolescence. And then there's a stage of maturity. Then there's a stage in which most of their strengths, their faculties, start coming into focus. And they reach an apex in their life. According to most philosophers, sociologists, psychologists, they say that this age is around 40, 45. For governments and societies, it's just about double that. Then they start to realizing and understanding the values and the dynamics of life a little bit more than they did when they were 30 and 20 because now they have reached the top of the hill and they start looking down. And as they start to decline into 50s and 60s, life starts to become more precious to them. And governments like Australia like the United States of America, like the UK, and like some who are finished now, they start to realize also that they are not as powerful as they claim to have been. They start to see that they are unable to hold on to everything that they have taken. They start to see that the world does not revolve around them. They start to realize that they cannot exist without the collaboration and the co cooperation of other individuals, of other governments, of other people. They start to realize this. And inevitably, individuals like governments soon become dependent upon others. They return back to a state where they were dependent before. And after being rich, independent, arrogant, powerful, selfish, self-centered, whatever. They start to becoming wise, giving, benevolent, understanding, compromising, mature, and looking at the anticipation of the inevitable, which is sickness and death. And one day, some of us in this room will remember that this has been said, that a great country like Australia, great country like America, where I'm from, great country like Great Britain, France, Germany, all these great countries, there's going to be a time, maybe not in our lifetime, when someone will speak about them with a historical, rhetorical mention, because they'll be over. And there'll be some other names here, like there are some other names here now. And we speak about others who were here, who thought they were powerful and would be here forever, rhetorical and historical.
So we want to talk about the purpose of life as it applies to individuals and governments because that allows us to understand the topic. I hear a cry Oh God, oh because I feel I treat it well or understand it well, but because it allows me as a human being to better understand how to negotiate my own life, how to appreciate my own life, how to appreciate those who are around me, those who may be dependent upon me or those whom I'm dependent upon, those who I interact with on a daily basis.